Welcome back, guys, to The Witcher 3. I had my fingers crossed for the last episode not to get blocked or anything. And so far, so far, so good. I still don't know where I stand with this game. It, it's definitely one of those games that after three episodes, I really enjoyed. I think it is a phenomenal game. It's got all the right to be loved as much as it is. I just don't know right now i cannot give you guys a for sure answer if this is going to be a series one of you told me in the comments and a lot of you agreed maybe once a week i don't know we'll see where the where the future takes us but just please don't hold me to it don't do not account me responsible for a full series because i'm saying it right now i still i still don't know every time i upload a video i'm like on edge with this game that's why sometimes i blur certain things and stuff like that and on top of that i know this game can be like like we've mentioned over a hundred hours long which is insane and uh i think valhalla kind of took me to my peak as far as like how many hours i spent on a series i don't know if i can do that all over again but welcome back um last episode was really fun we got to play with siri which was super unexpected we fought a werewolf her powers are super freaking cool and i had a blast i was upgrading some of my combat abilities and you guys were right i was supposed to <laughs> i was supposed to equip them not just upgrade them because i've upgraded this one three times which is fast attack damage increased by 30 percent and adrenaline gained three percent and i had not equipped it because you know it's a lot so obviously you guys are here to back me up and that's cool so i'm gonna equip it now and i don't feel so bad about myself and then we've got another slot here thankfully I don't know if I have anything else here. Um, oh, this one. So during the day, Vitaly regenerates by the initial 10, uh, 10 points per second. When not in combat, at night, stamina regenerates. And this one is increased maximum vitality. I'm going to go with this one for now. I feel like uh, vitality is really important in this game. Hmm. Okay. So how do I, how do I unlock more of these? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I just got to keep leveling up. All right, well, I just let the game do the talking for me at this point. I feel like an idiot. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll fly him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. So Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. I helped him out. He was kind of floating in the air. I removed the barrel for him. You know, felt bad for the guy. But here we go. We're about to investigate his daughter's room in order to help him find her. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Hmm. Ooh. A bag that I can possibly loot here? Horse hide. I will take that. I'm sure you don't mind, right? I mean, I'm helping you out after all. Not a problem. Wall's a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Oh. Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Should I be looting from this guy? I mean, I feel kind of... I feel like an asshole. Looting from the little girl. Hopefully this doesn't have any sort of... You know repercussions hmm it gets interesting piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick no coincidence there hmm fight might have happened here I don't look for clues all right fresh flowers he expects them to return any minute takes hope poor guy Deep nicks. 
hit with a heavy object. All right, what else can we explore here? Deep nicks hit with a heavy object. Am I missing something? Hmm. Oh, okay. Hold on. Was this here before? Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Tucson. Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Ah. Well, this guy's crazy. Oh my God. go down below damn trail breaks off could find something else though talisman mm, spruce wood smells of juniper incense some sort of folk talisman protective question is against what won't find much else here don't poking around found signs of a fight in the room know anything about that a fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing. Not a one of them. Hmm. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air valuse. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. <laughs> Just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not interested about his hobbies, all right? Well, stop it. Trying to scare me and shit. All right, so we've got the peller. We've also got another quest that and we could pause this quest here. What a fucked up face. Hold on. I don't have to come back in here, right? No. How do I, how do I get out of here? Hold up. Go this way? No. Hi. How are you? There's a chest here that I can pro Oh, this is not a chest. This is one of those crates where Siri was here. Oh, hold on. What? Oh, this is the room the Siri was in. Spinning top, Gritka's toy. Siri's room. Hold on. Oh shoot, this is a whole entire different quest. The natural obscurity of curses by Lydia Van Breedevort. Where'd Siri get this? This is after she came with the werewolf and all that stuff. Yeah, Siri they, must have used these. He gave her to eat. Left in a hurry. This is she was resting. Okay, I remember now. All right, so this is the stash. I'm going to stash up some things here. I'm not going to need this right now. So might as well just stash it. Put this away. Put this away. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep an extra pair of boots. Except for this one. Yeah, 
I think this one's actually better. Alright, sweet. So I'm going to go here to the quest menu real quick. And we clearly now have family matters, which is uh, find the Peller's hut. I don't know if I should just finish it off. Maybe we should finish it off. Um, we should definitely probably just finish this off and then we'll go over to the hunting a witch and stuff like that. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's continue this. Let's finish this quest off. It's going to be a little weird, like just kind of leaving it in midair. I don't like the vibes. I'm going to go to sleep. I like this game a bit more when it's nice and bright outside, not dark and scary. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is my type of game right now. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, we got a merchant and uh What's gotten into you again? How may I assist you? Ooh. Cool. So need some armor made. What do you offer? See what he's got. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Oh, this guy's stacked. Holy shit. What are these? These are all diagrams. Okay, so we're not level six yet. So a lot of these things. He's an armor. He's a journeyman. Is that the level of, of, um, of armor that he's at? Is that what it means? A journeyman? Just like novice expert and stuff like that. Okay. Crafting. What does he have? He can repair. Okay, I can repair my weapons, my tools, durability 97. This is 76%. The price is 24. I don't have enough. You know what? This is a waste of life. I am absolutely broke. So long. <laughs> to the point where it is embarrassing. Whoa. So I can probably sell stuff though, right? Quartermaster. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Ugh. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Hmm, what are you offering? Show me what you got. Ah, look at this. These are pretty good armors. And look, this is a better crossbow. This is also the horse. Uh, that thing that you put the uh, the blinders for the horse for the fear. And we've got a Nilfgaardian saddle. Oh, this guy's got some pretty good stuff. And this is what? Follow the clues on the map to find some Witcher gear. Oh, that looks really cool. I should probably be selling some of my stuff. I mean... Hmm. See ya. So what's better? Is it better to sell or is it better to dismantle? I went back to the chest to look at your stuff. and I brought some stuff into my uh, to my inventory here so I could sell some things for this guy or with this guy. I'm going to sell all this crap that I don't need. Um, I think uh, all these level one armor, I'm not even going to use them right now. They're kind of pointless for me to use anyways, so... Uh, I'll keep that just actually no, I'm gonna sell it all. Fuck it. I'm selling all of it. All right. It's all going. All of it, damn it. I'm gonna keep this one because it's my base weapon. You never know. Um and I'll keep this just in case my current one goes to crap. So um the junk. I think I, I don't know if this I should sell or dismantle. Um this does give me a lot of money, 101. But I do feel like maybe selling, uh, dismantling these two things might be best. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to craft here and go to dismantle. The only thing is that dismantling does cost me money, which is kind of crazy. That's insane. Okay, I'm going to dismantle this. That's insane that that shit costs money to dismantle. This game is so unforgiving. Like, what the hell? Um, hmm. 
This will give me a gold nugget if I sell, if I dismantle it. Um. Look! Look at all this crap here. Like I I could, I could sell all this crap. Why I, why why can I sell all this? All these things. Why can I sell it? Let's go ahead and repair. Just in case. And I think everything else should be pretty good for now. Quite the few side quests we've unlocked. That's cool. Got their asses whipped like you know big lad whore. What? Surprised. What? I tried to dance with a witcher. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so a lot of you have been telling me to just loot as much as possible and then just like sell or dismantle things. The thing is that dismantling things costs money, which is freaking insane. So it's like, I don't know, man. All right. Who else is racing? I don't know if that's worth it. I feel like I'm better off just selling crap because money is so hard to come by in this game. Should all be flogged. The Peller's Hut. Towards the left. Make a right here. There's a. Right through the forest. Okay, we're going through the trees here. Okay, this is looking a little crazy. We'll get the open. Hey, look. Some strays wandered our way. Sod. Whoa, what do you want? whoa, whoa, whoa. Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Tibbs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augeries. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened postures all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> a witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches. Or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads. What? Ah! Stand oh, still, hey! damn it. What? Lost your nerve? Come on, boys. Oh, that song is dope. <laughs> Hold on, let me... I think these boys want some fire. Or not. Oh, I didn't choose it. You know what? I'll do it to the last guy. That's it. I'll do it to the henchman. I've got it selected. The Igni, right? Yep. Come on. Come back away now. There we go. Ugh. Ooh. Off with his head. See, I try to be peaceful, man. And you guys. Wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Smoking pipe. Okay, these guys are kind of doing uh, illegal activities here. Smoking pipes. All right, I'm gonna shut up. You guys have t told me to just loot everything, so I'm just gonna. It's kind of hard for me to loot everything. Then again, if I could just sell it, even for a penny, it doesn't matter. safe now devils who do they bring what seek ye? i need your help whoa a man nay a wolf gray though not old tis he the pillar awaits you were expecting me i as the bones declared i should they shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them. The white wolf. Mm. And thus he comes. Mm. Omens never lie. 
recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Mm. Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to go? Fine. <gasps> I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild <clears throat> strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. All right, we got the bell here. So you have uh, a new quest. Prepare for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel, then select it from the quick access menu. Oh, God. Okay, quick inventory. Uh, Where's the... uh? Oh, there's bell. It's right here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh my god. Here, little, little, little goat. Here, little, little, little goat. Where's this stupid goat? Oh. Oh, there's a couple of wolves here. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop it. Oh shit. You guys ain't that bad. The red is the go, right? There you are. The pain, princess. Hold on. There's something here. Here, goat. This way, I think. Here, princess. A princess in distress. That ain't no princess. That's a damn goat. All right, how do I bring the goat? Come on, follow me. Come on. Let's follow me. The Come on. That's right. Come on. Take All you have to, to do. Misses you something awful. All you have to do is follow me, okay? Which are compared to a patch of wild strawberries. Come on, damn it. All the wolves here, they're all practically dead. The white wolf has come and killed them all. You need not worry, princess. Wait, where prin the hell did you go? Princess? Princess! All right, this goat is suicidal. Oh, 
what is wrong with this damn goat, man? What would he? Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Jesus Christ. Oh, look, it ate another. Oh, that's a deer. Never mind. Okay. I don't know if I should bring this uh, little goat here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't bring it. You know what? I'm actually going to go to the world map. And I will put that there. For the future. Future references. Maybe I can come and explore the bear cave. I don't know why the goat will go there. Is that part of the game? Was that, was that supposed to happen? You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all important quality every roach has to have. <laughs> you don't talk much. <laughs> Nowhere in sight, nowhere to be found. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. And bears. Don't forget bears. <laughs> goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Say what? Fine. Be right back. What do you mean, dude? He's milking them nips. All right. Oh, rats. Will this do? What sort of sorcery is going on here? for an augury an augur i did they're gone the child remains mentioned a child whose why anna's anna was pregnant she was and she miscarried whoa hmm. baron didn't mention it afraid perhaps or ashamed or forgetful or perhaps he had no wish to remember Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Hmm. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. 
a botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. Mm. They don't <clears throat> help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. Mm. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I've heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, mm. dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Mm. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Really? White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Ah. Know what you got. Look at this. What the fuck? What? One sign intensity. Upgrade. Place an empty socket on a piece of equipment to improve its traits. Oh, this guy's got some good shit. Crafting component used to craft gear and items. Look at all this. Wow, this guy's got some really cool stuff. All right. He's a shopkeeper. That's interesting. So I can sell to him too. But these are all, none of this is considered junk, right? This is all like, yeah. Okay. There's oils and potions as well. And a lot of these things are like freaking. You can craft this and apply to the sword for additional effects in combat attack power versus net. For, okay, I'll, I'll just craft this. Um, A lot of the ingredients I'm just missing. All right, there's so much to learn. This shit is so overwhelming, dude. It's one thing to just sit here on my own time and waste time figuring it out. And there's another time. And there's another thing to sit here and waste your time. You know what I mean? So midnight, 12 a.m. Here we go. Good. So. I'm just going to call Roach and head out. It should be good. Go, Roach. Go, baby girl. Let's do this. Move it. Uh, what? We're not that far off, thankfully. I think. Down Run, this way. Roach. 360 meters. We're probably fast traveled. 
sometimes it's nice to see the scenery. Oh, sweet boy. That lady still standing there. I'm sorry for your sweet boy, but I've got other matters to attend to. Strike. We'll be back. What happened there? What? Is that the village where we came from earlier? Well, that's weird. Wait, talk to the Baron. Why would I talk to the Baron now? What happened to... Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay. Read the bestiary. Okay, hold on, let's do that. Books. No. Botchlings. Perhaps the most repulsive creatures a wisher will ever have to displeasure, uh, the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is that of partially decayed fetuses. They are unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women driven by... Oh, what the fuck? Cursed oil. I don't have any cursed oils, do I? Hey, right, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out once we get there. Come on. We gotta go talk to the Baron anyways. This, man, this man's gotta be depressed right now. <laughs> Move aside, the Witcher is here to rescue you guys as as per usual because you guys can't do shit for yourselves. It is I, Geralt, the White Wolf, to the rescue. What happened here? This is crazy. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Okay. Well, this took a turn of events. That's what's cool about this game, dude. It's. Oh, the Baron's kicking his ass. Hold on. I need to use uh No? Damn it. Butch. Open on the inside. Need another way in. Okay, maybe through here. Looks like rain. Uh let's go through the top. This is not looking good. Damn it. Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. <coughs> Fuck. Over here. Can't get out. Roots collapse. <laughs> ah. <coughs> He's fucking stuck on the ground. Open the main gate up to the stables. Good work. Oh my God. <laughs> he was stuck on the wall. <laughs> what do you want me to do here? I think I, I, I think we got it like barely. Okay. <laughs> and we got the horses too. Oh my god. <laughs> We've a hero in all this. He's dr he's drunk. The horses. Why I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? I knew it. Don't play me for I a I knew fool. it. You'd been beating them for years. Finally they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Let's dance. Really? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! 
Oh, now his buddies are gonna team up on me. Ow! You prick. I had a feeling I didn't want to comment on it just in case, but I had a feeling he was the beater after he said he got drunk and he didn't remember. Probably just your average alcoholic abuser. Damn bastard. We need to talk. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. See, this game is so like unpredictable. Like you couldn't you couldn't have predicted all this shit happening. Like whatsoever. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. Ah. Oh. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Hmm. Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You hmm. beat her for that, for criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times mm. join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage. For only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Wow. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and no. I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened, the truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last Blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Hmm. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. 
Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. Hmm. She didn't enter the room. <laughs> Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was mm. not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. Wow. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless. Wow. Sheet. Wow. Dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Mm. Or maybe the fact mm. that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Hmm. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. <clears throat> They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, <clears throat> hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Oh. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Holy smokes. Three hours later. Hmm. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up. 
and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Huh. What the fuck? What? Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the ass before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. The mercy from gods. Wow, dude. Oh my god. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Oh my... This is not good. This is not good. Not good. Shit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting this at all. Threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Wow. That's wild. Alright, no more of those creatures, please. That's that's pretty creepy. Uh-oh. On with it! Pull up my tooth. Like a daft eel. I cannot hold it. 
worked. It stopped. Can I put this fucking thing away? Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... It's a girl. What would Anna have named her? I need, to, I need to get some oils and put it on this blade. All right, good. Thank goodness. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me. You who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Wow. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Oh Lead God. me to those bound to you by blood. Oh my God. Bro, imagine if they're dead. What if they're dead? Little prick. Help. Keep in mind that all of this, everything we're doing right now, this has been one quest. <laughs> this is crazy. It's super crazy. Also, my health should be much more full than that i mean we kind of have some time Look, if it don't stop raining my ass will rot off it's plowing boring again i wonder if i should uh i should take my horse or really run behind this thing lubberkin Stop. I don't want to fight right now, guys. There is no need to fight. Oh, wow. They were so close. Are they here in this little cabin? I 
Really? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Horseshoe. No mm -hmm. way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Hmm. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. All of the lubricant. Okay. Wants to show me something more. Wow. Oh no. What is that shit? No, no, I don't want to fight that thing. Okay, maybe I'll fucking fight it then. Gave me no choice. What can I say? I wanted to be civil about all this, but uh, these creatures just uh, show no remorse. Sometimes they just want to die. is gonna blow up oh my god rot fiends oh my god Damn oh it's gonna blow he just had a field day still worth a closer ah! look what is this shit ah fuck you animal your mother's gonna love you I'm gonna fucking die here. All right, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Not good. Should examine that horse carcass. Fucking hell, man. Oh, at least I got some loot, you know? What do we have here? Bones. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Mm-hmm. I think so. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Wow. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Uh-oh. Mm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. This thing keeps feeding me. Oh my god. Please stop. Please stop. Come on, come closer. Please stop. Please fucking stop. I want no trouble, damn it. house possibly that'd be nice that'd be really nice the fisherman's hut seems she wants me to take a closer look hmm who's that other room go on now 
What do you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Mm. Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars mm. scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head mm. off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did death. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Hmm. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Wow. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Talk to the Baron about his family. Find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxenfort. Wow. So she's all the way. Holy cow. 
So I was just going to end the episode here, but... I've decided to take a little break and come back. So we're going to finish this mission. We're not going to leave it undone. It is a beautiful, beautiful day outside. Well, technically an ugly day outside, but it looks looks beautiful. We're going to take advantage of this. It's incredible weather. So we got to talk to the Baron outside about his family and then find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxenfort. Oxenfort? Oxenfort? O Oxenfort. All right, so I'm going to run this way and hope that Roach kind of just appears. Where's Roach? Come on, Roach. All right, sweet. So, I think we're going to go... We're going to go to the Baron first. Let's see what's going on with this guy. This mission's been pretty trippy. We do have a mission that we should have technically um, completed before this one, and that'll probably be... Later on in our next episode, if we continue this series, I don't know. I'm feeling in the mood right now. We'll see. Maybe I'll record again after this after this episode ends or whatnot. I had to go to uh, one of Ryan's uh, Christmas plays. I had to take a little bit of a break from recording, and I just got back, and now we're now we're feeling a little motivated, if you will. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, gentlemen. Let's go. It's just me and my horse. We mean no harm. What's going on with with Roach here? Seems a little scared. This damn fool's a bastard, idiot. That's it, Roach. What is going on with this horse? Man, look at the freaking sky right now. Like, holy cow. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Well, that was very kind. Items have been enhanced. So, so what does that technically mean when it says my items have been enhanced? What does that technically do for... Oh, I just see there. So more more like a limited amount of damage per sword or what is that witcher a word please believe we've not had the pleasure they call me the sergeant left over from my army days you understand when me and philip meaning the baron served under a temerian banner I wanted to ask you about something what is it that night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Hmm. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Hmm. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Oh, really? Seems like he's changed his ways about damn time. Where is he? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Yeah. Nothing could go right here.
Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. I feel bad for him after Any all. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. Mm. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. Oh, really? What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Remember, we needed that pass. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Aha. Uh -huh. At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm the exception. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. As you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd hmm. be a sight to be old. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. Oh. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. A little horse race, perhaps? Nice. Start at sunrise. And I love the background music in this game. It's so relaxing. It's so freaking peaceful. The day dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! Oh, God. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. 
Your sword is mine. That'll be the day. Oh God. Oh my God. Gotta be careful with the horse stamina. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Come on, lass. Your sword is mine. Wait, what? What? Oh my. <laughs> what happened? Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. Wow, I thought I was Man gonna lose that. Yours. Thank you. What? Oh no. Whoa. Really? She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. This Working on it. Sky, bro. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the North Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. <laughs> Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of hmm. regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home. With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. All right, so we got to go find some Mara. All right, let's see. Well, Oxenfurt shouldn't be that far off. Wait, it's not here, is it? Uh, hold on. I think it was this way. Then we may go right over here. Ooh, it's a nice day outside too, huh? Look at this. White Witcher. When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh huh. Sure, dude. I'll I'll give her a rag doll. And he goes, it's fine. <laughs> sure. All right. So let me try and I, see if I can enhance the weapon again. Enhancing armor. Use special armor stables to temporarily enhance your armor. Doing so grants a bonus. Well, that just answers my question. Right, I'm gonna call my little horse here. Come on, Roach. Catch up. I got all day. Don't disappoint me now, please. Come on, come on, come on, girl. Come on. 
All right, so what we're going to do is uh I think we can fast travel there considering that this place is actually pretty far. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Nobody saw that, okay? <laughs> you didn't see that. I'm going to grab all these for future instances. We are officially inside the city, by the way. Um, I found a different way here. Like, I kind of swam here in a way. So, I don't... I don't... I don't know. I think I was supposed to come in this way. But it was kind of already accessible in a way. Which was kind of cool. So, yeah. You choked to death on three that, pounds that was cool. Like, whoa, that dude is buff. Holy Ooh. shit. Freaking massive. Somebody's been eating their Wheaties. I like it. All right. Let's go right over here. Eternal fire. This is a perfect spot for them to be hiding. This is this is excellent. All right, that's locked. What do, what, what, do, what are we looking for? Eternal fire. Walk with you. How are we gonna find her? If she's over there, how do we find her? You know, okay, hold on. Crawl back on Could it be through here? <gasps> it is through here. Nice. I'm looking for Tamara, the bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Send you. Yeah. Ah. It's alive. just like her dad. And well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Hmm. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. Mm. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. <sighs> well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war. I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. Mm. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19, and there you have my life. Wow. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line, and we fled. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Wow. I don't mean to pry, but... I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She mm. fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. 
worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service hmm. of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. The Baron's desperate. Hmm. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Hmm. Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined child. Wow. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. You didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long. And good luck. I have a feeling we'll have to revisit her. As far as, like, maybe rescuing her down the line or something like that. We'll see. Nibbles. Hi there, little nibbles. Nibble, 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 nibble. All right, so. Smoking pipe. Can I loot this place? I will loot all of this. Hmm, this looks, this looks quite interesting. Hello? Oh, hi. Bro, there is so much. I'm not going to steal here. Just in case. But there is just so much. Alright. It's time we head out. Long live. Now we've got a fast travel point here. Which is freaking awesome. Where is it? I think it was... I think it was this way. This place is beautiful. Let me, let me see. Let me go to the world map. It should be somewhere here. Okay. Actually behind us to the right. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we've got this fast travel point now. And it seems like this, I can always enhance my weapon. It's a good, it's a good idea to enhance your weapon before heading out to like, you know, a mission or something. That's, I'm going to keep that in mind because that's definitely going to help us out. For some of our future ventures. There you go. So we'll go from this. Wow, this is awesome. 
back to this. This has been such a long mission. Like, I did a small fraction of this mission on the last, um, on the last episode. We kind of started it off on the last episode when we played with, uh, with Siri. No, not you, Siri. Like, my iPhone thought I was talking to her, but clearly I wasn't. But yeah, normally this would be like a two hour quest. That is insane. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. This has got to be one of the longest missions, man. That's is insane. Can't even begin to imagine how, how these writers came up with all these ideas for all these characters and how in depth these stories can be like that's that's some serious hardcore writing there all right let's go speak to the baron and let him know that his daughter wants nothing to do with him he's gonna be pissed too bad for this man i'm listening what do you come to me with gave tamara your gift how'd she react probably not like you'd have wanted she threw the doll away <laughs> threw it away Gods are hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! What? So long. Investigate all remaining leads in Valen and find the Baron. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, so I just searched it up because there was literally no way. I, I, this It made no sense to me how you can actually find this lady, right? And I, I figured out, well, I didn't figure out anything, to be honest. The internet figured it out for me. But I found out, I read that I'm supposed to actually finish a mission or rather yet a quest called Hunting a Witch, which is actually the next mission I was going to do. And it's the one I was supposed to do beforehand. So maybe if I would have done this beforehand, we would have already concluded family matters. So that's definitely maybe perhaps what we've got to do on the next episode. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm still motivated enough today to continue recording. So I will probably continue recording and I'll do hunting a witch. And maybe that'll be our next episode for the Witcher 3. I'm really interested to see what where that quest leads us. And um, it's a continuation of Hendrik's quest. Remember, he was killed, so we've, we've been led to believe. Uh, he was sent over here to, you know, in search of Siri as well. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Anyways, I think we'll end it here. So much for concluding family matters in this episode that I actually waited till later on today to record to finish it. And here we go. We, we have to do another mission in order to come to a conclusion for family matters quest. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys would like to see more of The Witcher 3, I'm going to try my best to continue it. And uh, honestly, this game is just freaking beautiful. It is so beautiful. It reminds me so much of Red Dead Redemption 2. It really, really does. And that's always a plus. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, drop me a like if you did. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.